선생님, 톡톡님. 루리, what's all the fuss about? 아니, 톡톡님 지금 몇 월이에요? It's March. 아니, 3월이잖아요. 우리 깜빡 잊고 지나갈 뻔했어요. Forget what? 3월에 중요한 날이 있잖아요. What is it? 아, 답답해. 까먹었어요? What is it? Just tell me. 3월 17일 성 패트릭의 날. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. 매년 성 패트릭의 날에 한국에서도 대대적인 행사가 열린다고요. 대사관에서 후원하는 행사가요. Well, we can't miss it then. 그쵸, 이번엔 꼭 참석해야겠어요. 머리부터 발끝까지 초록색으로 꾸미고요. Do you know why green is the color symbolizing St. Patrick's Day? 왜 그러는 건데요? I will tell you why. The reason the color green symbolizes St. Patrick's Day comes from the Irish Rebellion of 1798. At the time, the Irish soldiers adopted the color green in their fight against the British. The reason that the Irish designated green as the national color at the time was based on the legend that St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, compared the Trinity to a shamrock when explaining Christianity. Another legend says that on St. Patrick's Day, people wear green to avoid being noticed by leprechauns. A leprechaun is a small fairy from Irish folklore who is known to wander around pinching people who wear clothes of colors other than green. On St. Patrick's Day, iconic monuments in cities around the world turn green. Green lights illuminate the Sydney Opera House and the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and the water of the Chicago River is dyed green. The color green is used as a key symbol of St. Patrick's Day. You can also find buildings and monuments that turn green on this day in Korea. Ah, 아, 톡톡님 때문에 하나 알았네요. 아무튼 드디어 올해 처음으로 성 패트릭의 날 행사에 가게 됐어요. 오! Stop trying to think about partying and start worrying about how to get a good interview. 아, 일하러 가는 거지. Finally, it was the day of the St. Patrick's Day Festival. 감독님, 안녕하세요. 오늘 저 어때요? 초록색 옷에 초록색 머리 그리고 여기 요거 초록색 하트 성 패트릭 데이 축제를 위해 만반의 준비를 하고 왔습니다. 어떻습니까? The festival is being held at DQ Plaza at Shindorim Station. Do you see the wave of green filling the venue? 갑시다 여러분. 초록색 물결 속으로. A lot of people, including both Korean and Irish, have come to enjoy the festival. 아일랜드 St. Patrick, born in Britain in the late 4th century, was kidnapped at the age of 16 and lived as a slave in Ireland for six years before escaping. However, he returned to Ireland around 432 to spread Christianity. St. Patrick then established monasteries, churches, and schools in Ireland until his death. The Irish have observed March 17th the anniversary of St. Patrick's death as a religious holiday for over 1,000 years. Traditionally, Irish families would attend church in the morning and feast with traditional meals and drinks in the afternoon. Today, people wear green on St. Patrick's Day and enjoy Irish culture, including Irish food, drink, music, and dance. A big parade takes place as well, one interesting thing is that the first St. Patrick's Day parade was held not in Ireland, but in the United States in 1737. 
Irish people who migrated to the U.S. played a large role in transforming St. Patrick's Day into a secular festival and a celebration of all things Irish. The most extensive celebrations, including elaborate parades, were held in American cities with large Irish immigrant populations. To this day, St. Patrick's Day is a beloved holiday celebrated not only by Irish people, but also non-Irish people all over the world. To feel the festive spirit, I decided to get face painting done. The shape I chose was a shamrock symbolizing Ireland. How's things? Are you well? You well? Like this? Oh, that's good. Did you get that done here? Yes, yes. That's excellent. Thank you for the invitation. I really like the atmosphere. It's great. Yes, it? yes. And it's busier this year than it was last year. This oh, time. really? Mm. For now, I just briefly said hello, and we will meet later to talk about St. Patrick's Day more deeply. Congratulatory speeches followed from those who came here to support today's event. Please enjoy the lovely day of St. Patrick's Day. Thank you very much. I just want to say thank you to a few really, really important people today. The first one, I guess, is St. Patrick. Fair play to him. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Give it up for St. Patrick. Some of Fisher came to congratulate the festival. Uh, to everybody here who's Irish, and to everybody here who has an Irish person in their family, you're all very welcome. This is a day to come together, to see all your friends, to meet up with people, and I just want to tell you that you are not forgotten at home. And to everybody here who's not Irish, I'm inviting you all now to come and visit. You'll have a great time. There you are. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 How are you? What's your name? Angela. Angela. We okay. can't just send the Minister of State who came all the way from Ireland to Korea, right? So I decided to have a quick chat. Okay, Minister. So tell me, what brings you to Korea this time? I've come to Korea because it's St. Patrick's Day. It's our national feast day. Mm. And it is a day when Irish people who are around the world want to meet up with other Irish people. Mm. So, you know, we love uh, Korean culture. We love the cultures that we live in, but also sometimes you get a little bit lonely and you want to meet up with the people from your own country. So one day a year we do that, and that's today. It turns out that Ireland has a tradition of sending ministers on trips to other countries to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. You can see how important St. Patrick's Day is to the Irish, right? But why Korea? instead of other countries? So I came to Korea because it's a country that we don't have a lot of connection with in Ireland compared to other countries. So our, our government has been sent out around the world to 45 countries, believe it or not, and I've been sent to Korea. And we think that Korea could have more connections with Ireland because Korea is about the same size as Ireland, same land area, but uh, you have 10 times more people. <laughs> so, and also we are a high-tech country and we have a similar history to Korea. We, were, we had a very small amount of money, and now we are a much more prosperous country. And also, we are also a divided country. We have a, a, a north and a south as well. So we have a lot of connection, and we would like to have more connections with, with Korea. So how do you see Korea island relationship turn on? I think that our, our relationship can, is good. I mean, it's positive, but I think it can grow a lot. I don't think we have enough trade with Korea for the size of the country. We are a trading country just like you. We have a lot of trade with the USA, a lot of trade with Europe, but not, not, not enough with Korea. And we are trying to do a lot of the same things. We're trying to make a, a digital transition. We're trying to make a green transition. 
We want to build a lot of offshore wind farms. So do you, you know. So we have similar needs and similar positions. So we, I think it's something that we can, do, we can work together on. I met with different Chebols. I met with, um, for example, SK uh, and LG. Uh, and I'm trying to help Irish companies that want to sell into Korea. I'm trying to help Korean companies that want to invest back in Ireland. So I'm trying to make those business connections. But also there's a kind of a cultural aspect to it. A lot of um, Korean people who come to Ireland, they come because they saw a movie or because they read a book. And in Ireland, people are very interested in Korean culture. So my, my, my youngest child is 17 year old, 17 year old boy. And he likes uh, K-drama movies uh, from Korea, loves Korean food. Uh, he likes uh, graphic novels from Korea. There's a lot of interest, I think, on both sides in the culture on both sides. And that's cultural interest can then lead to uh, business connections. Mm, very glad to hear that because as you see, many Koreans are very interested in Irish culture yep. as well. Mm. You should have a Korean day in Ireland. <laughs> you should do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In addition to participating in the St. Patrick's Day festivities, the ministry met various people in Korea and participated in various events before returning to Ireland. I hope his experience in Korea remains as a pleasant memory. Actually, St. Patrick's Day events have been held in Korea since 2001. It was suspended for three years due to COVID-19 but reopened it last year. And at the center of this event is the Irish Association of Korea. The goal of the association is to introduce and publicize Irish culture to Korean society and people. Shall we meet the head of the association? The Irish Association of Korea is a voluntary non-profit organization that aims to celebrate Irish culture uh, by connecting it uh, through the community, connecting it to itself, the Irish community, connecting it to the Korean community, and connected to anyone who's interested in Irish culture. And our three main areas are in, in, in culture activities, in welfare activities, and in enterprise and business activities. Then, how many Irish are living in Korea? According to statistics, the number of Irish people residing in Korea is 713. Among them, the number of people who received an E2 visa for foreign language conversation education is the largest, at 223. So are there any other events related to Ireland you'd like to hold in Korea, other than St. Patrick's Day? Absolutely, yes. St. Patrick's Day is the biggest one, of course, but we run weekly events, monthly events, uh, in Seoul and in different parts of Korea. Again, celebrating Irish culture and Korean culture, music, dancing, language, uh, food, beverages. So they, they happen throughout the year. What do you think Koreans think about Ireland? I think they don't know a lot about Ireland. And similarly, Irish people do not know a lot about Korea because we live so far away from each other. However, there's actually a lot of similarities. We have a similar history. A lot of our values are the same. So there's strange little connections between the two cultures, but we don't really know a lot about each other. So. We're trying to open those doors up to allow more Koreans and more Irish to share those connections. I'd like to welcome anybody, even if they don't know anything about Ireland, to, to join our events and activities, especially Koreans. We have such a small uh, community here that um, we depend on Korean involvement to grow our activities. And it, we can also really help Koreans to understand Ireland, Europe, English, um, by sharing our experiences about Ireland to them. So it's a really fun and active, but small community, and it means it's very real. So I would just recommend people to try, uh, get involved, follow us on social media, and there's events that they can join for free, and they get very, very rich experience from very, very nice people. While looking around the festival site, I found an interesting looking booth. The children were busy coloring something. I decided to find out a little more about this organization. Luckily, I was able to find someone who could tell me more about it. 
펀선이라는 단체에 대해 소개를 네. 짧게 부탁드려도 될까요? 네. 아 펀선 월드와이드는 그 아일랜드 본부로된 50, 올해로 56년이 된 단체고요. 한국에서는 이제 2015년에 들어왔어요. 그래서 주로 저희는 이제 최빈국에서 활동하다 보니까 뭐 요새 잘 알고 계신 시리아라던가 터키 같은 지역에 저희는 이제 구호 활동을 계속 이어왔고 오늘도 초대받아서 네 나왔습니다. Concern Worldwide is an international humanitarian organization founded in Ireland. In 1968, John and K. O'Laughlin Kennedy carried out fundraising activities throughout Ireland to help the Biafra region of Nigeria, which was suffering from severe famine due to civil war. The sight of children in the Biafra region suffering from hunger is said to have reminded the Irish people of the Great Irish Famine. As people continued to raise funds, Africa Concern was born, and through the organization, a relief ship was sent to Biafra. Afterwards, Africa Concern's humanitarian interest spread to the world, and in the 1970s, the organization changed its name to Concern Worldwide. Fifty years on, Concern Worldwide is still actively providing relief to the world's poorest and most vulnerable people. 자, 한국 측에서도 이제 사실 국제 사회에 일어나고 있는 많은 일들에 대해서 사실 저희가 뉴스로 많이 접하지만 정말 많이 인식 개선이 필요하고 또 알려야 되고 모금을 해야 될 일들이 있어요. 그래서 한국 지구는 이제 한국 대중에게 저희가 현장에서 어떤 일을 하고 있는지 소식을 알리고 또 같이 후원해 주시는 어떤 후원금들을 가지고 또 현장에 위해서 활용 사용하는 이런 역할을 하고 있습니다. 또 오늘 여기 부스에서는 어떻게 뭐 홍보하고 계시나요? 아 맞아요. 오늘은 저희 이제 그 여러 프로그램 중에 저희 채널을 추가해 주시고 이렇게 같이 그 부채를 색칠하는 이런 액티비티를 준비했는데 이 활동 같은 경우는 저희가 테마를 어디서 가져왔냐면 그 사이코 소셜 서포트 포, 어, 프로그램을 현장에서 하고 있어요. 그러니까 그 사회 심리 지원 프로그램인데 주로 지진이나 내전으로 인해서 트라우마를 가, 겪고 있는 아이들을 위해서 이게 저희가 시, 실제로 하고 있는 프로그램이 있거든요. 그래서 그거를 여기 이제 오신 분들도 참여하실 수 있도록 네, 준비했습니다. While here, I decided to participate in the activity to promote concern worldwide and make my very own fan. I met a familiar face at the festival. This is Darlene, whom I met and chatted with when I interviewed the Irish ambassador on the topic of St. Bridget's Day. You may remember, but Darlene is one of the active members of the Seoul Gals, a local Gaelic football or traditional Irish football team. Gaelic football, with a history of over 700 years, is the most popular sport in Ireland. Gaelic football is a hybrid sport, combining elements from rugby, soccer, and basketball that originated around the 14th century. For centuries, the sport was played in various Irish towns without established rules. The rules of modern Gaelic football were established by the Gaelic Athletic Association, founded in 1884. Gaelic football is known as a type of football, but it is different in many ways. The biggest difference is that you can hold the ball with your hands. The ball can be carried in the hand for a distance of four steps and can be kicked or hand passed, a striking motion with the hand or fist. While association football, or soccer, has 11 players per team, Gaelic football teams have 15 players. Scoring is different from soccer in that one point is scored for putting the ball between the goalposts and over the crossbar, and three points for putting it between the posts and under the bar into a net. Additionally, Gaelic football is played for 60 minutes, with 30 minutes in each half. There are currently over 400 Gaelic football clubs around the world. For Irish people abroad, Gaelic football clubs are not only a place to enjoy sports, but also a means of networking with each other. Patrick's Day, 
새로운 팀원들도 유출을 하고 네. 여기 지금 다그 갤리 풋볼 맞아요 저희 여기 팀원들이신가요? 다 맞아요 이쪽에 전부 다 남자 여자 팀 와서 공부하고 아이들 와서 같이 저기 체험 존이 있어요 그래서 같이 풋볼 하는 그 체험을 하고 있어요. I think it is very meaningful that Korea and Ireland can come together and work as one in the field of sports. 또 되게 재밌으신가 봐요. 계속 하시네. 너무 재밌어요. 저 1등 출석이에요. 그리고 외국 토너먼트하고 국내 토너먼트는 빠지지 않고 다 가고 있어요. I wonder what the Irish who play for the Seoul Girls think about the Korea's Gaelic football team. So I decided to have a quick chat with the chairperson of Seoul Girls. So how many people are in your team, Seoul Girls? So there are 40 women and 20 men. So about 60 active members. Are there many Koreans at all? Yes, I would say maybe 30% of our members are Korean. Oh. Yeah. Do you think that sports could help like, to bring two countries or two different cultures more closer? Yes, I think there's evidence of that within our club. There's a lot of Korean people there, there's a lot of Irish people there, and we mix together well. Um, there's even a couple of marriages within the club. Really? Yeah. At the St. Patrick's Day festivities, I met a lot of different people, learned a lot of new things, and had a really good time. I wondered what other people thought of the event. Take it to Ohio. 제가 타국에 있을 때 우리 사람들하고 같이 우리 문화를 기억하고 그리워하고 했던 그리고 그걸 같이 축하해줬던 사람들이 생각나면서 여기서 사는 사람들의 기분이 어떨까? 좀 느껴보고 다른 나라 사람들 다르다고만 생각하지 말고 같이 잘 지냈으면 좋겠다. 그리고 서로의 문화를 좀 알아가려고 노력을 많이 했으면 좋겠다. Oh, it's pretty amazing. Eh? You wouldn't feel like you were uh, in an Asian city looking around here. Looks like people from all around the world, not just Ireland. I'm actually from New Zealand myself, but I have a lot of Irish friends. So yeah, to come to a, a fantastic location like this on St. Patrick's Day and enjoy the music, enjoy the entertainment. Um, yeah, it's great. Good on the Irish community. They've really put on a great show. Should be proud of themselves. Hello, my name is Angus. I am from Dublin in Ireland. This is Angus who is married to Hwaji, a Korean, and lives in Korea with their cute son, Kaelum. <laughs> but how do you decide to live in Korea? So we were lived in Ireland for like one year, mm -hmm. but like it was better for both of us to live in Korea, like easier for work for both of us. So we decided to move to Korea. So. We've been here for nearly four years. Okay. Now I understand. Yeah. How does it feel to celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Korea? Uh, it's good uh, because, you know, actually St. Patrick's Day is, when you're Irish, is better when you're outside Ireland. But when you're actually outside Ireland, it feels a lot more special. So it's great. Ireland is a country. How did you feel about the image? 어, 저, 처음에 아일랜드를 갔을 때는 아일랜드를 잘 모르고 갔었어요. 그런데 가서 제가 살면서 뭐 한국이랑 많이 비슷하고 또 어, 정서적으로도 잘 맞는다고 생각을 했어요. 유럽의 한국이라고 얘기를 하잖아요. 술도 좋아하고 뭐컵 문화도 좋고 그리고 네, 사람들도 되게 다정하고 친절하고 네, 저는 굉장히 좋은 것 같아요. 국제 결혼도 굉장히 좋은 것 같아요. How do you feel to celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Korea? Oh, it's really nice. It's really nice to see your country represented in a foreign land. I feel like Korean people really like to party. <laughs> and I think Irish people like to party too. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why this relationship is so strong. Mm -hmm. I think Korea and Ireland were able to become closer through the St. Patrick's Day festival. Making sure everybody's so how right. did the ambassador um, spend her second St. Patrick's Day in Korea? Today, and without them, we would not be able to run this event. A few days later, we yeah. visited the ambassador and asked her. So this was your second time celebrating St. Patrick's yeah. Day in Korea. It is. How was it? Uh, it was great. Yeah. It's always great. Yeah. You know, it's the busiest time of year for us. I always say that for Irish embassies, St. Patrick's Day is like 
if you worked in a shop, Christmas is really busy in Ireland, so it's like our equivalent of Christmas Eve. But yeah, this year it was it was fantastic. We had a we had a great time. I'm a little tired, but it was good. It was good. Yeah. So last year, President Biden celebrated St. Patrick's Day by having dinner with Irish Prime Minister. So I think St. Patrick's Day seemed to hold importance in the diplomatic arena as well. So why is that? So that uh, event with the US president has happened for many, many years now. I think it might have started during President Reagan's time. Oh. And so every year the Irish Taoiseach uh, goes to Washington DC and delivers to the US president a bowl of shamrock. It's just a tradition now. And usually there is a, there's, a, there's a lunch held with important people on Capitol Hill. We hold our relationship with the US very seriously, mm -hmm. as indeed does Korea. And it's an important stakeholder for us simply because there are so many Americans who consider themselves of Irish descent. We, we consider it the land of our sons and daughters. And those relationships with, with Irish America are important to our economy. They're important to people. You know, my first cousin lives in New York, mm -hmm. but um, they're also important to, 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 our, to our political uh, profile. That day in Washington always gives us a chance to deliver some key diplomatic messages. This year, uh, the Taoiseach was very focused on continuing US support to Ukraine in the context of Russia's brutal and illegal aggression against Ukraine, and also calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and raising attention to the humanitarian situation in Gaza. Mm. So it's our opportunity to amplify our voice a little bit um, and of course, uh, reconnect with some of the Irish American political establishment too. So I was also at Shindorim on Saturday, and I was very surprised that there were a lot more Koreans than I expected. Mm -hmm. So how did it feel to see that so many Koreans know and enjoy St. Patrick's Day? I don't know. It's hard. I think a lot of Koreans have spent time in America, mm. and St. Patrick's Day is huge in America, particularly mm. in you know New York, Chicago, Washington, Boston. So the, I think that the American connection is, is quite a strong one. We just have growing numbers of Koreans who are interested in Ireland. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fantastic. And then, of course, we, we have a huge number of Koreans who have spent time in Ireland, who've been on the working holiday programme or who have studied. And of course, they all want to come and celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So it's fantastic. May that grow, I say. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And the, the purpose of the Shindorim event is not to bring together Irish people. Should we get together all the time? Mm. It's to, it's to he help Koreans to celebrate mm. what Ireland means and Irish culture and traditions. Mm. People say that there are many similarities between Koreans and the Irish in terms of temperament and each country's history. Maybe that is why it feels like there are more and more Koreans visiting St. Patrick's Day festivals and it is exciting to think that the two countries are becoming closer together. The relationship between the two countries has continued long before former diplomatic relations were established. And I hope that Korea and Ireland will continue to build a strong friendship in the future. The 16th of June is Bloomsday, mm. and that is the day when we celebrate uh, the works of James Joyce. Mm. James Joyce was a famous Irish uh, writer, mm. and he wrote the book Ulysses, which has been translated into Korean. Mm. It's a very difficult book to read, but it's a very special book. So are you going to celebrate Bloomsday this year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> well, anyone can come, absolutely. Remind me.